It's interesting, there's a phenomenon out there, we always called it the old explain pain pain. But this is truly a phenomenon we see in research and in clinical practice. When you teach people more about pain, they often have a slight increase in pain, and then the pain goes down. People like David Butler will tell you, this is not a bad thing. This means they're taking it on. They're internalizing the message. This is part of what we consider deep learning. So they take it on instead of going just, yeah, I feel better, I'm okay. The system then drives it down. So you can see there, it's going down. The next one, we have fear avoidance of physical activity and work. And you can see both of those went steadily down pre-post. A huge difference for these patients. Catastrophization did the biggest shift of all of them. And then the orange line, you can see the patient's knowledge of pain went up. So there is an effect. The one we were most excited about, however, was physical movements. Remember, these are people with leg pain, back pain, getting ready for surgery. We measure flexion, we measure straight leg raise, and immediately following education, same patient, nothing has been done physically to them. Their straight leg raise goes up about nine degrees and forward flexion by five centimeters, well beyond the minimal detectable change that we can see. And this is similar to what Mosley, Paul, Paul Hodges, and Nicholas has shown us work in chronic pain as well. So we were able to replicate the same result for preoperative patients facing surgery that shows, yep, that there must be a response that is helpful. The one I'm the most excited of all of these, however, comes here. We now know that one of the biggest predictors of spinal surgery outcome is your beliefs and your expectations. If you walk out of the operation and you believe and expect to be pain-free, and you walk out and now you have pain, it often drives you in the opposite direction, stress, fear, anxiety. So we have the questions here very simply, before education and after education. You'll notice on all of them, by the way, these are all positive shifts. It seems confusing because of the scale, but very simply, the first question we have there, I feel prepared and ready for surgery. You can see before the education, they seem to be kind of ambivalent in between. Then afterwards, yep, they feel a lot more ready for this process. I'm afraid of the upcoming surgery. That has shifted, and again, it seems worse, but it's actually a lot better. I know what to expect after back surgery. Massive shift, now they've got an expectation. Fair enough. Back pain is to be expected. It's interesting because many of these patients weren't sure about it, and now they understand, yes, you will have back pain because there's an incision there. The leg pain one is also interesting. Many of them were told by the surgeons, you'll be pain-free, and it doesn't work that way. What we think a critical part of this program is, we're giving patients a realistic expectation of pain. And if they come out of the operation, they get it, they go, yeah, I know what it is. A silly therapist with a funny accent explained it to me. I'm gonna be okay. And that calms the nervous system down. Very, very powerful. <music>